Welcome back, Wolfpack Brawlers here, and I'm excited for this Fan Fridays battle because it is a Link double battle, and HT Ravio is the opponent. Now, we have seen HT Ravio. He is a good supporter on Twitter. He's all over the place, comments, and has also submitted for Fan Fridays, as well as Anthony bringing us a Sableye Snorlax combo. Now, I really enjoy Snorlax. I want to use Snorlax as much as possible, and I've just found roadblocks in the, like the VGC format since there is that time limit. You can get timer stalled if you try to set up too much. So I'm going to see if this is a quick enough strategy to potentially mean something. Intimidate from the Mawile doesn't really mean too much. Because whenever you belly drum, it maxes your attack. So it technically gives you a plus 12 that caps at the plus 6. So that Intimidate, not going to mean much for a uh, long run. Sableye, I don't think it's going to really care as well. So that's going to be Mawile going for the straight up protect. And that's also going to be... Audino going for the protect. So, no trick room, no cash shenanigans right there. And, oh, Mawa, or not Mawa, Sableye going for the protect. But that means free belly drum for Snorlax. So, no stockpile, no shenanigans, just getting right to it, maximizing that attack, and going, I guess, Citrus Berry? Custap Berry. Oh, that means this is a gluttony Snorlax using the Custap Berry to go first after the proc because of early thing for the belly drum. I, this is going to be huge. Oh my goodness. And it's Psych Up on the Mega Sableye. Mega Evolving on that turn to get those stat into the self-destruct. <sighs> that is some old school shenanigans right there. I feel that you don't need the, the self-destruct. If you have something like uh, Body Slam, Earthquake, like Earthquake would decimate that Mawile. And it would probably be enough to knock out, maybe not, Aldi maybe not knock out Dino, but Snorlax is bulky enough. And now we have Sableye, max attack, huge tanky Pokemon going up. You know, that was a one for two with a max Sableye. You can't really complain in the end, honestly. And then we have Clefable, so, or Clefairy. So Clefairy with that friend guard, going to make Sableye even tankier, going to use that follow me. And that means Sucker Punch, stab dark Sableye, Sucker Punch, shoots huge amounts of damage. That's just going to be a KO right there. Follow me means that, you know, anything else will be headed for that Clefairy and... How do you stop that? Like, that, that's 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 ridiculous. Cause I mean, you just go max attack, hit point, Snorlax, I guess. You try to just survive anything that doesn't directly fighting you, unless they open like two fighting type Pokemon or a stronger fake out. Like, yeah, you, you got it. So pretty solid, and that's just going to be Sableye finishing it off, knock off, knock off doesn't matter with all those resists. And good night, Ravio. Did uh, Anthony submit any more of these? Um. Because that was pretty insane. Ooh, he has another battle. Cool, because that one was a little too quick. All right, so Anthony's second battle looks pretty much the same, except this time we have a Hydreigon. So it looks like we just play, you know, Talonflame, if you, depending on what you feel for that counter pick. So it looks like three of the same Pokemon for the strategy, and then you just go something else. So now we have an opponent that means business, so much business that he does cheat the game, most likely. And that's just going to be pretty standard, like Landorus. Landorus is a big Pokemon that we see a lot. Sylveon is, again, a Pokemon that does bring a lot of threat. That's going to be the Landorus withdrawal. As Snorlax, that just looks like he's going to get some free setup again. Because we look right there, Sylveon. Sylveon is just going to eat that fake out. That way, Sableye is safe for this turn. Uh, Landorus getting switched out doesn't really bother too much. That's going to be Belly Drum on the Snorlax. Snorlax is going to have to turn up pretty big for this turn. I don't know if the Self-Destruct is worth it. Because uh, most likely Blaziken is going to go for that Protect. But at the same time, you do need that Sableye, or the, you do need the, uh, not Sableye, it's Sylveon gone. So maybe just a Body Slam. Like, you Body Slam it, that thing's over. So are we going to see the Psych Up? Most likely, Psych Up shenanigans. If you predict that Protect and you get all that Custap Berry going, so we just outpace the Body Slam on the Sylveon, or just explode, so. Ooh, no Protect! Blaziken doesn't even respect and go for that protect, so free self-destruct right there. And that is going to clear the field once again as we've seen it. Doesn't affect the save alive. And yeah, Snorlax goes down. One for two, max attack. And then we just get to see the cleanup. So I mean, Sableye's just going to knock off a one-shot of Landorus. It's still going to be a plus five. Has Sucker Punch. Has a lot of craziness behind it. And that's Landorus. And Bisharp. So Bisharp doesn't really threaten Sableye. Like, none of these Pokemon directly threaten Sableye. Uh, I wonder what other attacks Sableye has to take out Pokemon. So attack's going to drop. 
Not really too crazy. And again, we're just going to see follow. Oh, helping hand. Not even. Do we, we don't even need follow me when it comes down to this. So helping hand, sucker punch into the Landorus. I think that's just super overkill right there. You know, Scarf Landorus going to have to attack, and then we just take that. So Iron Head, that's going to hit the Clefable or Clefairy. Clefairy with that Eviolite, too strong. Another helping hand. And I mean, this is where we see another sucker punch. Iron Head. Ooh, no. Ironhead going to just take that damage on Sableye and go straight for the knockoff. So knockoff doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter if it's... Actually, no, it doesn't. So Focus Ash doesn't matter if it's resisted because the damage is going to land no matter what. Follow Me is going to guarantee that this happens. And Bisharp going for that Ironhead. Sableye just going to reach out and touch him with another knockoff, I guess. And, like, with Stab, Follow Me, and all sorts of craziness, you, know, you don't even have... Like, it doesn't matter if you're resisted. There's just so much damage coming out of Sableye. That's just absurd. And that's another KO right there. So, 4-2. Like, 4-2 sweep. Uh, looks like, you know, you go for that 1-for-1 one one trade. And then Sableye, just too bulky. And then you have follow-up Pokemon. That follow me, Sa like, follow me with Sableye. That might be just good on its own. So that's a really great thing. Thank you, Anthony, for bringing us this insane strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have a nice day.